Hello YouTube, my name is Nero and today we have some Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered and I come before you wonderful ladies and gentlemen today with an observation. Nobody uses light machine guns here in Modern Warfare Remastered. Now I don't know quite why that is because light machine guns are very powerful in this game but for one reason or another you never see people using these things. Now I'm somebody that plays the game a lot and I also play a lot of respawn game modes. I play a lot of Team Deathmatch, a lot of Ground War, a lot of Domination, a lot of Kill Confirmed, even a lot of Hardpoint. And in all of these respawn game modes where light machine guns excel, you never see people using them. The M249 Saw is a weapon that I don't think I've even picked up once, maybe a couple of times in my entire time so far here in Modern Warfare Remastered. The RPD I never see outside of shipment and I don't think I've ever actually seen an M60 when it was not my weapon or the weapon of like somebody else in my party like nobody seems to use that weapon for one reason or another so why is that why do people tend to shy away from light machine guns here in Modern Warfare Remastered as well as the Call of Duty franchise as a whole well I think a part of it is how slow and clunky these weapons actually are right when you think of a light machine gun in Call of Duty you typically think of very slow reload speeds you think of very slow movement speeds it kind of feels like you're running in sand when you're trying to use these things and overall just slow Funkiness, like your ADS time is a little bit slower and it takes a longer time to swap out to your pistol or pick it up or get to really do anything. It's just a slow moving weapon. But the upside is when you're using a light machine gun, you really have unmatched damage downrange. Like compared to assault rifles and submachine guns and stuff, LMGs are insane downrange. In fact, throughout most of Call of Duty's history, just about every LMG has no range drop off. And in fact, here in Modern Warfare Remastered, the RPD and the M249 Saw, they have no range drop off. Therefore, if you're using stopping power on an RPD, you kill in two bullets at two feet away or 2,000 feet away. It does not matter. You have no range drop off. The M60 is the only LMG in this game that actually does have range drop off. And that's because of how powerful it is. By default, it does 50 damage and that drops off to 40 at range. And so if they did not give the M60 damage drop off, then it would be a two shot kill all the time even without stopping power which obviously would be a little imbalanced so the m60 does have a bit of range drop off and if you're wondering where that drop off is it's somewhere between where the smg range drop off is and the assault rifle range drop off like if you can picture in your head the distance to which a submachine gun will start dropping off and doing less damage and then picture where assault rifles will start dropping off and doing a little bit less damage just right between those two is where the m60 stops and overall i find the m60 to be a very powerful weapon now in this gameplay you guys are watching me use double tap which increases the fire rate of your weapon by about 33% which takes the normal 600 rounds per minute M60 and ups it by quite a bit and makes it so it's basically just a giant bullet hose and keep in mind once again the M60 does 50 damage by default without stopping power so I'm like two shotting people without even aiming at them like the LMGs in this game are actually very powerful but nobody really seems to give them a chance because of all the downsides because of the near 10 second long reload or the fact that you're basically running running in mud whenever you move around like if you wonder how movement works in the Call of Duty franchise let me explain it to you so shotguns submachine guns and pistols they all have a base movement value of one right they all move around basically as fast as you can move without like having some sort of a crazy buff of some kind which typically doesn't exist in the Call of Duty franchise sniper rifles assault rifles and here at Modern Warfare Remastered the AK-74U one of the many quirks of the weapon they have a base movement value of 0.95 so they move slightly slower than shotguns submachine guns and pistols light machine guns have a base movement value of 0.875 so it's slower than assault rifles it's slower than sniper rifles shotguns uh, pistols everything they're the slowest moving weapons in the game which really makes you feel like you're just running insane like you're using this big weapon sure but you're moving so slow in a game where everyone else is zipping around so quickly and with how fast you die in this game it feels like wow what's the point of really using a light machine gun while you guys are watching the gameplay this is the point of using a light machine gun it is ridiculously powerful like sure you're moving slow but you have really unmatched power up close or even at a distance you hit like an absolute truck while using an m60 now when i started using this class here i did it as a joke i was in i was in discord with my friends and we're all sitting there talking I'm like i'm gonna go m60 double tap and it was kind of a joke everyone's like haha i'm like no seriously i'm going m60 double tap and uh, i started doing really well with it it's very powerful right now of course it's not gonna be super viable for like game battle
files, right? You're not going to see this set up in, you know, competitive search and destroy or anything like that. But if you're looking to have some fun playing Domination, playing Hardpoint, playing Ground War and stuff like that, the Double Tap M60 is actually pretty good. Again, it does 50 damage by default. So there's really no point in using stopping power on this weapon because it doesn't affect it until you get to those super long ranges once the damage actually drops off. But for the most part, don't even use uh, stopping power on this thing. Use Double Tap for the faster uh, fire rate. Use Slay of Hand to cut down on the 10 second reload time. Use something else to benefit you rather than stopping power and you're going to have some fun with the M60. When it comes to the RPD, this is against bots right here, but when it comes to the RPD, like I said, it does 40 damage by default and it has no range drop off at all. Therefore, it's going to do 40 damage at 2 feet away or 2,000 feet away. It does not matter. So if you do put stopping power on it, which is going to increase your damage by 40%, you can two-shot anybody at any range with this weapon, which is incredibly powerful. The saw, the M249 saw, that is actually going to do 30 damage at 2 feet away or 30 damage at 2,000 feet away. Again, no range drop off at all on that thing. It has virtually no recoil and a very fast fire rate. And it actually has a faster uh, reload speed as compared to the other light machine guns to compensate for the fact that it has a really high fire rate. So overall, the light machine guns here in Modern Warfare Remastered are very, very viable. They're actually incredibly powerful. Just for one reason or another, people don't use them. I think it goes back to the idea of it's too much work to use them, right? It's so easy to just go, okay, I'm going to use my MP5 or okay, I'm going to use my P90 or my 74U or my M16. Like all these easy to use weapons that you typically see, the most popular weapons in the game. You don't see a lot of people using light machine guns. You don't see a lot of people using semi-automatic rifles, for example. Like how often do you see a G3 or an M14? They're very powerful weapons that kill in two shots. I mean, the M14 with stopping power will one-shot people to the head, but people don't use it because it's like, Ah, there's just something about it, right? It's a semi-automatic rifle and it just it feels like work as compared to just, you know, pulling down the trigger on an M4. You know, just people don't use semi-automatic rifles the same way they don't use light machine guns, the same way oftentimes they don't use shotguns because you have to work a little bit harder to do well with them. But I'm telling you guys, use the light machine guns in this game and you're going to have some fun. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to conclude this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Maybe we'll do some more comparison style videos in the future where I go over the light machine guns, maybe more in depth and we'll see which light machine guns are actually the best for the vast majority of situations and try out different setups and stuff. We'll see how it goes, but right now I'm really enjoying playing on Winter Crash. That's been a lot of fun, except when I'm being flash banked. Like, whose idea was that at Raven Software to be like, hey, you will be really funny if we encouraged everybody to play on this map and use flash grenades times three just all the time just constantly flashing people to the point where they just can't see anything ever it's like oh my gosh like i enjoy the map so much but i'm being flashbang so ridiculously much it's like oh my goodness man can we just can we just not can we not flash me three times every time i i spawn in can we just not do that it'd be fantastic but overall really enjoying winter crash really enjoying unlocking the camos really enjoying uh using these light machine guns they've been a lot of fun as well and here is some news before we end off the video for those of you guys that don't know we are actually going to be getting double xp in my Modern Warfare Remastered starting tomorrow, December 22nd, and it's going to be running all the way until December 27th, all the way basically through the holiday season, and that sounds pretty awesome, right? Gonna get a lot of XP, gonna have some fun here on Winter Crash, gonna get all my camos unlocked, it's gonna be great, and hopefully you guys can find some time this holiday season to sit down, play some Modern Warfare Remastered, play on Winter Crash, get your holiday camos, and have some fun, and while you guys do that, once again, give the LMGs a chance, try them out, and I think you guys will be pleasantly surprised, but once again, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Drop me a rating. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day.